we have here. Uh, the soil it is to be extracted from a feed having a flow rate of 300 kg per hour and this will be a feed flow rate and which is composed of 30% of a solid A and 70% of the KRC. So our feed is 30% uh, or 0.3 in A and 70% or 0.7 in C. And uh, we, we have a solvent flow rate of uh, 100 kg per hour and uh, we are asked to determine uh, the extracting roughness composition of uh, each component in the mass flow rate of the extracting roughness leaving the, the single stage so the turn ID diagram uh, is given so we can do it from this okay here in the diagram uh, each and every exit and uh, entering streams can be shown in here so the composition in the solvent in the feed are given and we ask it to determine the composition is in the raffinate and the extract stream okay so we have our ternary phase diagram so uh, and we ask it to determine the composition in the fluoride of the extract in raffinate streams uh, which leaves the stage so in order to determine these uh, values we need to have uh, the mixing point so the mixing point can be directly found by uh, computing the composition of uh, the three components in the mixture or else uh, we can determine uh, from that straight line equation so uh, one of them could have uh, could have enabled us to find the mixing point so uh, I'm gonna use the straight line equation so we have 0.3 a and 0.7 c in the feed so we can locate our feed point so as we can see there is no solvent in the feed so it have to lie on 0% solvent line and 0% solvent line will be line SE. as we have said that the composition of each stream each component uh, will increase from 0 to 100 from uh, each side of the triangle to the end point will also uh, our composition of the solvent will be zero at here and increase 200 to here okay so uh, our feed our feed point must lay on the line ac so 0 0.3 uh, a or 30 percent of a means we have uh, in 20 percent interval so uh, here is zero percent a and here is 100 percent a so zero percent 20 percent a 40 percent a so 30 percent means them at the middle of this yona uh, at the middle of uh, this so it will be around here so this is our feed point f and uh, which can be seen that uh, the composition of c in the feed is uh, here is 100% uh, C and here is 80% C and here is 60% C so we have uh, our feed point between 80% and 60% so uh, at the middle we will have 70% of C uh, so uh, now we can sketch the line from F to S in order to find our mixing point since we have said that the mixing point should lie on uh, the line fs so uh, but we don't know where the mixing point exactly lies uh, because there are millions of points uh, on this line so in order to find the exact location of uh, the mixing point we need to come up with uh, one of the compositions so uh, one of the composition of the components in the mixture so uh, if we do uh, the components of if we compute the components of the solute in the mixture you have 0 0.3 times 300 kilogram of the feed kilogram per hour of the feed which is 90 kilogram per hour of the feed uh, solute sorry uh, solute and we have a total mixture of 100 kilogram per hour of solvent plus 300 kilogram per hour of the feed which is 400 kilogram per hour of the mixture and also 
uh, we can compute that the mix the composition of the solute in the mixture will be 90 kilogram per hour over 400 kilogram per hour of the mixture which will be 0 0.225 or 2.22.5 percent so 22.5 percent uh, a means uh, here is 20 percent a and here is 30 percent of the heat so 22.5 a means one fold of this distance uh, around here around here so if we draw a horizontal line that is parallel to the line sc and uh, then the intersection of this line and the line fs will be our mixing point so if we draw this line the mixture will the mixing point will be the intersection okay uh, now we have our mixing point so then we can determine the position uh, or locate the position of the extract in the roughness on the binodal curve so uh, we need two things over here the first one is that the extract and the roughness are uh, since hydrogen is in a single stage they are in the same stage so they have to be in equilibrium and the second one is that from that straight line equation if you draw the line between the extract and the roughness uh, the mixing point must lie on somewhere on that line uh, so uh, that line will be in this case the tri line since they are uh, in a kilogram or uh, they are in the same stage. So, in order to draw a tri line, there are some procedures I'm going to show you at the end of the class. But for now, better approximation is better. So, approximately, as, I, as, as we have seen, tri lines increase their slope uh, from here to this end of the binodal curve so i'm gonna sketch the tie line that passes through the mixing point approximately so this will be better so we will have our extract here on the solvent side of the place point and our raffinate here on the carrier side of the plate point uh, since we uh, we have said that uh, the raffinate is a carrier rich and the extract is solvent rich so the, sol um, the solvent side of the plate point should be the extract and the other would be in the raffinate so uh, once we determine the location on the thermal phase diagram uh, we can uh, read their composition so uh, for the solute composition in the extract we have to draw a line that is parallel to uh, cs or uh, you can see it by as it is uh, by not drawing a line not to complicate things so if you draw a line uh, that pass through this and we will have our solid composition here so uh, solid composition this is 100 percent of solute and this is 80 and this is 60 and this is 40. so mm, a little bit uh, a little bit uh, lesser than less than uh, this 40 percent composition of a so around 0 0.38 0 0.38 a in the extract and then uh, if uh, we want to find the composition of in the carrier in the uh, in the extract uh, we have to draw a line parallel to a s so the line parallel to s that pass through the extract e will be this one around this one do not expect uh, the same and the exact answer since uh, we do approximations so um, as we can see here is our percent carrier and here is 100 percent carrier and this point lies uh, uh, around at the middle point so the middle of uh, this 20 percent and uh, zero percent is the carrier so mm, we will have 10 around 10 percent of the carrier in the extract which is 0 
one and the carrier and the rest of the composition uh, have to be the solvent which is 0.52 once we determine the composition of the two components the third component can be if, uh, obtained by subtracting this values for 100 percent or uh, one composition since they all have to sum up uh, to give us one okay yeah you can certainly see that the composition of the, sol the solvent in the extract will be around 0 uh, 50 percent so if you draw the parallel line to the line is here then we will have this line and this is the, uh, around the near point of the 40 and 60 percent of the solvent component so actually uh, it will have been 0.5 or 52 percent okay so uh, we, if we do the same thing for the raffinate and the carrier uh, composition in the raffinate would be between uh, 8 80 percent and 100 percent and uh, the composition of the solute in the raffinate will be between 0 percent and 20 percent and the composition of the solvent in the raffinate will be between 0% and 20% as well. So uh, it will be 0.1 in A, 0.86 in C, and 0.045 around 4.5% of the solvent will be uh, in our raffinate. So we have our composition so in order to determine therefore it's uh, we can do the, the total mass balance which is F plus S will be our mixture M which is E plus R so we have the compositions in E and R so uh, which is 400 kilogram per hour so we can determine the value of E, e and R so we have three uh, independent equations uh, which are uh, the equations for uh, uh, the equations for the solute, the carrier, and the solvent balance. So, for solvent solvent component balance, if we do the component balance for the solvent, uh, the composition of the solvent in the extract, and taking this equation, so the composition of the solvent in the extract is. 0 point, 0 point 0, sorry here 0 0.52 times by E plus the composition of this, the solvent in the raffinate 0 0.045 R which will be the total amount of the, sol, uh, the solvent which is 100% 100 kilogram per hour given this is uh, equation 1 and if we do uh, a component balance for the carrier C, then we will come up with the composition of the carrier in the extract is 0 0.1. As we expected, it have to be uh, low in the extract plus the composition of the, the carrier in the raffinate is 0 0.86 times by R will be the total amount of the carrier will be 300 kg per hour of the fluid minus we have got that 9 kg per hour of a solute so which will be 210 kg per hour of per hour of the carrier so as you can see the carrier composition in the raffinate is very high around 86 percent as we expect so this will be equation 2 and we have these two equations we can solve them uh, as it is simultaneously or by substitution from this we can get that e which is 400 minus r so you can substitute this equation into either this or this equation and you will get uh, your answers but these uh, values we have get from uh, this substitution this and this will vary so you have to take 
the algorithmic uh, since we are we will take these approximation values variations are expected so i've done this equation simultaneously as it is and the final answers will be r it is r which is 223.8 kilogram per hour and our extract will be 400 a kilogram per hour of the mixture minus our raffinate which will be 176.2 kilogram per hour this time and it's exactly we need uh, the curve which is known to be uh, the conjugate curve okay so this conjugate curve can be drawn from several parallel lines which are drawn from each endpoint of every tie line okay so we have uh, uh, four tie lines here given so uh, let's start so for these endpoints of these tie lines on the left side so uh, the plate point l we have to draw a parallel line which is parallel to the point side of this endpoint which is line ac okay so uh, let's start with this the parallel line which pass through these endpoints of uh, the first tie line which is parallel to the line ac will be this one and for the second tie line we will have a parallel line this one and for the third tie line we will have this one and for the fourth one uh, we will have this parallel line okay for uh, these endpoints of the tie line we have to draw the line which is parallel to uh, the line ab which is in opposite to uh, this endpoint is relative to this uh, point okay so we're gonna draw uh, these tie lines which are parallel to the line I see okay uh, sorry AB okay for this tie line we will have this one and for this one we will have this one and for this one this will be the parallel line and for this one this will be uh, the parallel line okay so after this uh, we have to take the intersection point of these two parallel lines for every tie line okay for this tie line for example we have the intersection here and for this time the second tie line will have this intersection and for the third and for the third tie line we'll have the intersection here and for the fourth one we will have here okay so our conjugate curve will be this one which pass through this of all intersection points okay so once you just remind uh, our conjugate curve we can draw any tie line exactly from anywhere everywhere uh, any point on our binaural curve okay for example let's do uh, the tie line let's draw the tie line that pass through this point p okay first of all it is on the left side so of the plate point so we have to draw the parallel line which is parallel to uh, ac until it intersects this uh, conjugate curve okay so i'm gonna draw this and i have uh, this intersection point okay so once i have uh, this intersection point i'll draw uh, another parallel line which is parallel to line ab okay on uh, the opposite side of uh, the plate point so i have here uh, the intersection so i'm gonna draw parallel line which is parallel to the line ab which is opposite to uh, this endpoint of the tie line relative to the place point okay so i have drawn this one so uh, this will be the other endpoints of uh, our tie line so uh, we can draw uh, this tie lines exactly uh, by using this procedure okay uh, for real approximation will be pretty good okay from this we can conclude that if you have our mixing point once we can determine our raffinate and extract uh, flow rate uh, as well as their compression and their position on the uh, binaural kilogram curve but for a multi stage PLP extraction this will be a little bit different we need to come up with a common point for this stage and this point is uh, the difference in flows which is our which will be our operating point and we will help us to find the interstage extract 
and talking with compositions of Iraq their positions on and the bioavailability of the program okay uh, please leave a comment uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like it